Right, so I haven't released a vlog in ages because I hate video myself. I'm pure shit at it. Um, takes me like a hundred tries. This is take one hundred. But uh, I so pretty much the way I moved to Australia. I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. So you just have to roll with the punches when when adversity hits you. So whenever I broke my hand, uh, which was February, was the beginning of February, um, I knew I was going to be out for a long time, do you know what I mean? Because I just need to let, let it heal fully. So I knew I was going to be out to possibly the end of the year. Um, and just the thought of sitting in Ireland the whole time, not doing anything, like just probably, and I, I knew I would just be itching to be in the gym every day. like. And I would probably just come back, not come back too early, but I would just, that itch would be too, like, strenuous on me, do you know what I mean? It would take up a lot of energy. Um, so I thought, take the opportunity while I can to travel a bit more. Like, I absolutely love traveling. I spent the last two summers in San Francisco, in America, which has been, like, life-changing stuff for me. Just pushing the comfort zone, like, and I thought, why not just do that again? Also, look at this class wee place I have in here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so I was just like, why not do a bit more traveling? Um, I was actually born in Sydney, and I've always wanted to come back here. My hand's getting tired fucking holding this out. <laughs> but uh, I was born in Sydney, and I've always wanted to go back, so I thought, my sister just moved out last year, and I was like, sure, why not? Do you know what I mean? I really don't have a reason not to. Um, but yeah, but... <laughs> People always say to me, like, people have been saying to me, like, oh, are you gonna train whenever you're out there? Like, they obviously don't understand. Like, that is all, that is my number one priority, always. Like, that is all that matters to me, is becoming world champion. Like, and I know that sounds stupid, and like, oh, you've only had one pro fight, but like, that is all, that is all I'm driven towards. Like, that that one goal, and it's it can be easy, it can be easy to just say, oh, I'll just take it easy, do you know what I mean? And I'll go like enjoy my life here or there, and oh, it would have been good, but this happened or this happened, or oh, I'll just take a fight every once in a while. Like, like you could do that, and people get dragged into that, but it's being able to just be mentally strong enough to realize that, and to realize that you're getting sucked into them patterns. Like, I just have to, I have to be, that is my goal, do you know what I mean? And. I will do everything I can to get that. And yeah, so I think it's funny whenever, I have to laugh whenever people say like, oh, are you gonna train and stuff when you're out there? Like, that's all I do. That's all that matters to me. Like, But uh, obviously I'm gonna enjoy myself out here as well and try travel and like see like all around Australia. But um, my arm is getting sore as hell holding this camera out. I am unfit. But as of now, the plan for life and my career is let the hand heal fully because that's number one priority for my career. If I don't let it heal fully and it breaks again, then God knows what could happen from there. It could be career over, like, and I'm, I'm not going to let that happen. So I'm going to have to take. I'm not going to be able to fight to the end of the year. Definitely, I'm not pushing myself to come back earlier. Even those, like the specialist that said, like, oh, you could be sweet in three or four months, and that was before I left. I'm not taking any risks. I'm doubling that recovery time, and I'm gonna come back at the end of the year, but I'm still training as much as I possibly can. I've just got here, I'm here two weeks now, and I've been going around different gyms, but um, I think I really enjoy the training so far. Like sometimes when you when you go out, you don't really know what you're in for. But like, I'm really satisfied and happy with with uh, the training I've got here so far, and it's only two weeks. Um, I was meant to start work this week, but I got screwed over by some dude. Uh, so hopefully I'll have a job in next Monday. I'm just likely going to be laboring for the meantime. But obviously priority is training. So whatever allows me to train most, I'll be doing. But I obviously need to make a living and pay my bills. It's very expensive out here, like. But uh, yeah, and then we'll see what happens. If I'm happy with the setup here, I'll fight here. Um, I'll have a fight here. Um, 
just depending on how everything's going really. Do you know what I mean? It's I'm only here two weeks, I so can't really say what my plans are, but like uh yeah. Yo, excuse me. Were you the guy that was doing all the chants earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Can we, can we get, get a video? Yeah. Yes. Can we get a video yes. of your best chant? Come your on, best chant. Sydney! Sydney! Sydney!